Hey, Sneelix here, and tonight we have Sam Linux, based on PC Linux OS 2009. And a nice little offshoot it is, and we're going to give a quick run through what it's like. Now I'm scrolling on the on the widget bar up there. You've got Press Hero, Gimpy, Abbey Word, GT Thumbs, XOS, and GNOME Video Player. So that's not too bad, is it really? We'll go down to the menu. <coughs> Excuse me. Quick run down, you've got your terminal, file manager, web browser, etc. Internet, multimedia, office, then you've got your accessories, communication, spreadsheets. I put GNumeric on myself just to make sure Synaptic was working. Yes, it works fine. Time management and WordPresses, that's Abbey Word, of course, because it's a stripped down version of PC Linux OS. Firefox is your main browser, although they do give you Opera 10 which I'm not too happy about, but we can talk about that another time. Takes you straight to their main page, as you can see. Very nice. About it, not done yet, that's how new it is. It's quite a new page. It looks a bit similar to the PC oh, Linux OS page anyway. It's got a bits and bobs. FTP download and HTTP, so that's cool. You've got some shortcuts. The same ones they do have basically on PC Linux OS, so it's quite closely related. Can't find too much that's different, really. But hey, anyway, Abbey Words works nice, nice and quick. Version is, let's have a look, two six eight. That's okay. God, I haven't opened one of those for ages, have I? Blimey. Cool, 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 cool. So where should we go next? I'll tell you what. We'll go back down here. I think to the toolbox. Now in your toolbox, you have the installation for Sam, which is I did here. This is a live installation from the CD straight to the hard drive. Now, it did take quite a long time. I was expecting a couple of minutes and it ended up being nearly half an hour. Maybe that's just my system, maybe not. So something wasn't quite right there in the end, was there? Okay, apart from that, not too bad. Now, in the system, you get your archiving with a CD burning, compression, backup, etc. There you go, your archive manager. Get your configuration to do all bits and bobs, and there's the old flyer back there. Now, flyer back is in the widget bar as well. Now, that's basically a backup system. So, we're going to go to the widget bar and click on there. Now, of course, there's no contents in the folder because we haven't made one, or we've now got, not got any external drive connected. But basically, you can back up all your stuff, what directories you want it backed up to, and from, and a backup schedule. So, you could have it automatically backing up for every hour, every three hours, every day, every week, whatever you want to. Nice little touch, I like that one. Very, very nice indeed. So, what else is in Sam Linux? Let's have another look on the menu. There we go. Right, system. A GTK live install. And make a live CD. Very good, very good. But we'll go to GTK install. Now, once my root password, so I'm going to chuck that in for you. There you go, nice long one. Wait a couple of seconds, and there you go. And basically, it says it's a poor man's installation. It just takes a, a, a clip off your CD or the, a snapshot of the CD and bits you want on it, and you've got in it, and just does that to it. So, not the really one you really want to go for. Really, go for the hard drive every time. I would anyway. Now this is what happens afterwards. It doesn't actually say, I don't want to continue. You have to keep clicking the boxes off for a couple of times and it eventually gets the messages. So I'll just cancel devices. And you wait another couple of seconds. And more seconds. And it's gone. So, we'll go back to system. What about making a live CD? So we'll click there and it just tells you all about it. You're going to remaster the live CD of basically your system and it's going to go onto a live CD. And you can't use FAT, which is good for me. We want to use it EXT2 or 3 anyway, or 4 if you're lucky. But I'm not going to do that. You can do that when you install it. So it's understood what I've done that time. I didn't want to do it. Very good indeed. Back to the menu. You've got Synaptic down there. So we're going to open it up just to see if it's got all the apps that we really want. Now I did find running Synaptic took quite a while, it, it just slowed the whole system down. Although I'm, only, I'm not running on too much RAM here, so don't worry too much, I'm only running on ooh, 384. So basically it's quite an old system, so I shouldn't really moan, should I? But what we're going to do, we're going to look for Audacity, as I use that quite a lot for audio. So you click Find in the search button, 
and here it is, Audacity is there. I'll just scroll on the side, make sure it is exactly what I want, and of course it is. So you've got Audacity, click it up, tells you exactly what you want to know about it, and that's the one I wanted. And there's a plugin for next plugin, and a couple of patches. I'm not going to install them. I've already installed Gnumeric, so I know Synaptic works. So we can come straight out of that, no problemo. Lovely. Now on the whole, I quite enjoyed using this. It was, you know, all right. Although I'm not pretty happy with Brazero being there as your main burner. K3B is the better one. Let's be honest. It's tried and tested. Lovely. Known player. Mm, I'd use VLC personally. You can always change all this when you install the system. But again, it is going to blow it out a bit more because VLC does come with a lot more codecs and plays basically any format, doesn't it, really, at the end of the day. Right, we're coming near the end now. Right, your widget bar. You can actually configure that to whatever you want to do and what to put in it, basically. You can move them up and down, put the title there, the command you want, and the icon from where you've got the icon from, and then you save it and put it in your bar. Easy peasy. Last one here, devices. It tells me, look, I've got a little hard drive here for loads of swap. Lovely. I really enjoyed using this. Give it a go. It's PC Linux OS, but different. So, sneaky Linux app. Give it a good go. Wow.